Hi there my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Time to close out the month of March, see how much we've managed to save or whatever our bottom line may be, and end the month so that we're ready for April. So thank you for being here. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and let's go ahead and get started. As always, let's go ahead and grab today's prompt -a card to really kickstart this video. If you're new here, this is a prompt -a card. It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question in this video, and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. It's just a little something to help me get to know you guys better and y'all to get to know me better. So today's card is... What is someone meeting you for the first time probably going to like about you? Oh, that's a good one. What is someone meeting you for the first time probably going to like about you? And I think for me, maybe personality. At least once I get past that initial quiet phase and I get to know you, um, I feel like my personality is fun and I like to laugh. I like to make people laugh. So maybe that's what they would like about me. But what about you? What do you think someone meeting you for the first time will probably like about you? So today we're going to be closing out the month of March. So happy. I can't believe this year is already flying so, so quickly, but we do have some stuff that we need to close out for the month. We need to see how much money we have in those sinking funds so that we can, you know, move on to April. And we'll just get right to it. So these are all of my revolving slash cash envelope binders. So there's not ever really any significant savings. Um, mainly because I put money in to take money out. It is basically what we live out of. So there's not going to be any savings here. Let's just go ahead and say that. Let's put that out there. There's not going to be. Um, but I do want to count it up so that at the end we can know how much money exactly we have in these binders in total. So I'll count these up really quick with you guys and then we will move on to the more prominent savings. So starting with revolving, groceries is empty, dining out is empty, my pet has 10, 11, 12, 13, Extra toiletries has 10. Peach Pass has 20, 1, 2, and 3. Miscellaneous has 5. Don't count back to the bank. Rollover is not counted either. And that's it for this binder. And now short term. Self-care. Let's see. It has 10. Home has 5. Gifts has Six. Clothing has 21. I definitely want to focus on my cash envelopes on the next paycheck, so hopefully I can make that happen. Family fun is at zero. Amazon is at one. Date night is zero. We just emptied all of that out yesterday. 
And then gaming has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that'll do it for this. And now we're gonna go over to our sinking funds. Starting with our long-term binder. This is things that happen probably once a year. And we will begin with a vacation. So in lodging, we have one, two, three thousand, one hundred, two hundred and ten. So three thousand, two hundred and ten. Oh, you know what? That was a mistake. So 3,210. And then in rentals, we have 50, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. So 3,289. if I did my mental math correctly. So that goes in rentals. This goes in lodging. For a road trip, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Likely, whatever I save here would probably go to vacation before we go. But we'll see. School supplies has five. Electronics has five. Home reno has five. And then driver's ed has twenty. 40, 60, 80, 95. Moving on to holidays. Starting with holidays. It has 50, 70, 90. Hubby has 50, 70, 90. Wifey has 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 75. So 275. And Christmas. I'm going to have to pull all these out so we can count it up. So we have 250. Plus 250. That's 500. 600. 700. 41, 2, and 3. So 943. And that'll do it for holidays. And now we move to business. I don't count taxes in this. Um, budget supplies has 10, 11, 12, 13. YouTube giveaway has 50, 71. Supporting small business has 10, 11, 12.
Bills has 20. Festivals has 1, 2, 3, 4, 50. And wood is at zero. And now we move on to my kids. My kiddo binder. Starting with my son's birthday, he has 120 and 30. Middle child's birthday has 120, 35. And my youngest has 150.70.90. For my son's car, he has 1,000 in the bank, 120 and 30. 1,130. And to save us a little bit of time, all my kids' cars are exactly the same. And that'll do it for this binder. And now we move on to my kids' savings binder. Starting with Grad Party. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 35. So 4, 35. For my son's graduation, he has 25. For my middle child's graduation, she has 1,000, 100, 250, 270, 290, 295. So 1,295. And for my youngest, she has 2035. For my son's savings, he has 1,151, so 1,151, and to save time, they're all the same. All right, now we can move on from the kids and to our savings. Mine and my heavy. So for our savings, we have 100, 220, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So 239. Yep, we had to spend it. Had an emergency surgery for my dog. Saving for the retired life, we have 1,150, 70, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98. So 1,198. For anniversary, we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 30, 35, 36. So uh, 336. 23, 20, 35, 36. Yes. And for TK Toys, he has 20, 30, 40, 55. And now moving on to reserves, we have car maintenance. One, two, three, four, fifty, seventy, ninety-five. So four ninety-five. Health savings has one hundred fifty, two hundred, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So two seventeen.
home emergency we have tin 15 and bills advancement I don't do not yet and then vet bill has 50 61 and 62 Emergency fund has 520. And then my new envelope, which I've not decorated up or anything. The cost of living has 20, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And of course, I'm not going to include my challenges in this, but we did do our savings challenge. If you haven't seen that, feel free to go look, but we did our challenge check-in and we have a total of $1,224 in there right now. So let's do some math. I'll start with this one. Started at 177. All right. So we have a total of one thousand, one no, seventeen thousand. Let me get that right. Six hundred and twenty-one dollars. And let's see, last month we had we had. Let's see. Um, the way that we're gonna do this is. 17, 6, 70, minus 16, 2, 6, 6. That was 1404. So let me do 17, 6, 2, 1, minus 1404. And the reason why is because $1,404 came from our friend's portion of the beach house. So that total is 16217 without including theirs. So it's just about a little, I'm like $50, $49 less, which is incredible considering that we had that emergency surgery on my dog and we had to pull from our savings on that. And it was a relatively small um, month as far as payment paychecks go so I think that I'm okay with this I kind of expected it so last month we had a total of 17,670 with the adjusted total being 16,266 so let's just figure out the difference 16 Two six two one and then seventeen six seventy. That is forty nine dollars in the negative from last month, which is fine. It is fine, and again, I'm not, I'm not totaling that out. So, in total, I'm gonna take this number sixteen thousand two hundred and seventeen dollars plus the one oh one we have sitting there. That's 16,318. And then I am going to add what we know about our uh, savings challenges. And that's that. So we have a total of $17,542 that is our money. Um, that's pretty cool. So since we're here, we're going to go ahead and close out the month. 
Um, I do this on the front page here. March. Let's do... Let's go with... Do I have... I'll just go with this black. Alright. So our total income for the month of March I didn't fill out any of this stuff which is fine it's fine so we had 3573 and then we had 1202 And then we had $23.49. And then for YouTube, I didn't write it down there, but I did have it here. Let's see. March, we got $143.57. Forty-three, okay, and then let's add that together. Three, five, seven, three, twelve, two, twenty-three, forty-nine, and one forty-three. But then we also got Mahabi's Festival, which was four hundred and ninety, and that was on the twelfth. So four, oops, four ninety. So that is a total of seven thousand seven hundred and fifty-seven dollars that we brought in for the month of March. As you can see, it's less. That's why we weren't able to save more. So expenses. I don't know if y'all want to see all this. Y'all can fast forward through if you want. I don't know. Um, that's up to you. But just want to close it out. All right. So for expenses, let's see. I don't include bills in that. So it is just groceries and down. So for expenses, for groceries, we did... Our 750 there and our 750 here. So that did end up being $1,500 in groceries. For gas, we did 190 and 160. So 350. And then for spending, we did 150, 150. That's 300. And then 150, 150. So these stayed the same. Allowances definitely stayed the same. We actually didn't do any dining out money. Nothing there. And nothing here. So we actually did zero. And then the wallet cash, I kept that. So 60. So that's a total of 1500 350 300 320 and 60 So our total expenses was $2,630. Our total spending was... Three thousand ninety five eighty. So three thousand ninety five eighty. Our total bills ended up being let's figure this out really quick. Now these things that haven't come out, I'm gonna add them in anyway. The number is still the same, so. Thank you.
So our total bills for the month of March turned out to be $2,122.94. So then I will need to add the truck payment. So that's 88721. This company pays for the truck with that modus, but it has to be counted. So in total 21 okay i'm just gonna put it with here with truck is three thousand ten dollars and fifteen cents okay and then sinking funds which we just found out today um Is sixteen thousand two seventeen. Sixteen thousand two hundred and seventeen dollars. No revolving. Don't count that. So we just closed out the month of March. In comparison, we got paid more than January, less than February. Um, expenses, and that is even with the festival money. So in expenses, we did manage to curb some expenses by not eating out for the month of March. So that's pretty cool. Um, for spending, it was significantly higher. And I'm going to blame that mainly on groceries and the inflation. Bills, um, we did, and then also because of the surgery. And then bills, we had 2000 um, 122 so it went up by uh, almost a hundred dollars and then for sinking funds we didn't lose too too much about 50 bucks and that is taking into consideration that we had that uh, vet bill so overall not bad and we still have the rest of the year to keep bringing this number up keep bringing some of this down if we can I don't know we'll try um, but yeah that's about it we've closed out the month of March I appreciate you guys so much for being here with me and joining me as I figured out all of these numbers if you're not subscribed and you're still watching go ahead and hit that subscribe button join my family I'd love to be your weekly inspiration and I'll see you guys tomorrow for our very first cash stuffing of April. As always, until next time. Bye!